Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna take a little trip up to Lake George and we're gonna check out the Fort William Henry Inn Resort and Conference Center, as well as the museum. I don't know if we're gonna go into the museum or not today, but we're gonna check I it do out. I know that they charge about $20 a person to get into the museum, so I'm um, not sure if we're gonna actually go in, but we're gonna go check it out and see how much we can see for free. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up. Let's go. All right, so we are gonna head into Fort William Henry right now. Check it out. Not sure what we're gonna see. We've been here before, but it's been a while. Last time we were here, I think it was five years ago maybe? Something like that. But we're entering in from the Lake George side. Oh yeah, what did There's the Minnehaha, the Saint Sacrament. They're all docking or boarding right now to take off. We're gonna head up this way. All right, so they have ghost tours here. We haven't done a ghost tour yet, but that would be fun. Breakfast with a view and hotel office. Let's go check it out. So this is the Fort William Henry Museum, which is just adjacent to the hotel resort. We're gonna walk down here. I think it costs to get in, but we're gonna check it out. This is where they do the ghost tour, which sounds intriguing. So we just walked right in. It's like a little museum area. Some miniatures. It's really cool. So this looks like it's the main entrance. You can just walk. This is like the gift shop area. Lots of Adirondack souvenirs. A little bit of everything in here. Stickers. Dog stickers. Keychains. It's kind of like the typical souvenir type shop. Sunglasses. Minnetonkas, t-shirts, all right so we walked over to the back entrance or the entrance opposite of the lake. It's ten dollars a day to park on this entrance. You can come in 
from Route 9. But we're going to go check out the cemetery. I like these little signs that point you in the direction. So we're going to go this way, see what's over here. Okay, so this is the Memorial Cemetery. I don't see, I only see one stone. Beneath this boulder lie the remains of an unknown soldier of the French and Indian Wars. Hmm. Yeah, there's only one stone over there. Only well, one person died. Maybe they just put this up. To yeah, as a memorial. Yeah. Well, obviously a memorial memorial cemetery. cemetery. Oh yeah, here's the marker. Mm -hmm. Oh look at this is they must have like taken all of the graves and moved them maybe? Or this is what they found. This is what they found. Yeah. I don't know. This is the ledger. First Crazy. skull on earth. When was this? 1953. 1953, they excavated the remains of the British provincial soldiers who died at Fort William Henry. It's really cool, actually. The one stone out here that I saw. This one. It's a couple picnic tables. One stone. What is this one stone? John Doe Unknown. So this is the area that overlooks the lake at Fort William Henry in and conference center it looks like they have like an outdoor breakfast area possibly i don't know if this is for a private function or if it's for anyone they have some shuffleboards they have some um what is that called sean corn cornhole cornhole they have cornhole really beautiful view of the lake from up here Here's the pool area over here, and there is a walkway that you can walk right down onto like the strip. There. Is there? We'll go check that out. Right yeah, we'll go check it out. Let's go check out the pool area. So we're kind of going in the back way of this resort because we entered from over there, which is the museum side. Gorgeous little outdoor patio sitting area behind the resort. Yeah, they have an outdoor bar. Beautiful fountain. It's kind of overcast today, but it's nice because it's not hot. It's warm, but not hot. So yeah, this is the pool area. If you are staying at this resort, this is the pool area that you can enjoy overlooking the lake. So pretty. Good sized pool too. Alright, we're going to go up to the patio area and into the resort. Check it out. Oh, she just let her sleep? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
lobster dinner. Okay, so we are now heading down the walkway down to the waterside shopping area. Check out what's down here. There's the um, carved wooden canoe down there, just right on the water. It's called the lookout. This like. is called the lookout. Open at 11. All right, this is the lookout bar and grill. Looks like you can eat in the open. Check it out. Bar area right there. We're gonna walk down the walkway here, I think. Can we walk down that way, Sean? Or is that just to the back of the... Back to where we came. Okay. So yeah, I guess you can... There's a little bar. Okay, so here's the Lookout Cafe from the entrance on the street side right here. We were just up there. You're sitting up here. Here is open from 11 to 10. We have not been here, but here is the menu. Everything that is hamburger for me. So yeah, that's the menu, and that is the restaurant that overlooks the lake from the Fort William Henry Resort. Now we're going to just walk the little strip area that's below. Most of these are just souvenir type shops, like George souvenir stuff, the typical souvenir shop. This is Alif Cafe. What they have in here? A little cafe. Have not tried that. T-shirts. It looks nice, but I Definitely the more touristy section. And here's another entrance to the cafe, the Lookout Cafe. So you can enter from both sides. There's a trolley stop right across the street over there. The trolley is over there picking people up. There's the Horicon going out. Right there. Pretty sure they have a Groupon for the Horicon. I think I saw it on Groupon. Usually, this time of year, there's usually some pretty, pretty good prices on the cruise ships. Uh, here's some info on the Fort Henry, Fort William Henry Museum and Inn right here. I am definitely interested in going on the Ghost Hunters Ghost Tour. I think that would be fun. So yeah, you might check that out. It's another trolley, lots of Adirondack chairs to kind of sit in along the street if you want to just Sit and relax. Candy, apple, popcorn, cheddar, chocolate. What's in here?
fudge and candy. This is the Escape Lake George Adventure. This is like a mystery adventure game. Pretty sure there's a coupon for that as well. Right here. And lots of souvenir shops. Lots of them. Sunglasses, purses. There's a little cafe, Sticky Buns Cafe. I've heard that this is actually pretty good. Let's walk up here and take a look real quick. Outdoor seating up here. Sticky bun. Sandwich. Here's the menu right here. Coffee, cappuccinos. Looks like they have subs and sandwiches. Anything look good in there? No. Cream shop. Ice cream. What's the cream called? Frosty Creation. Lake George. Looks like they serve Hershey ice cream. And across the street from this is the visitor center, the Lake George Visitor Center with bathrooms right there. And you can walk the waterfront down this way. Sahara. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bunorama Fun Park. Bumper cars, arcade, bumper boats. We've never been in here. Jameson, Jameson would have like a fit. We'll go check it out. <laughs> we ch we'll go check it out. So this is an arcade. Wow, this is a big arcade. I never even have been in here.
of games in here. Yeah. I did not realize how big this was. Pop the lock. Let's check out the carousel outside. I just had to check this one out. The Walking Dead video game. Oh, you're shooting a crossbow. You're shooting a crossbow at zombies. Fun, fun. We love The Walking Dead. Right, so this is the outdoor section. There's some small kitty rides. Some clogging. Here, there's the carousel over there. What is this over here? So this looks like a spinning, it's called Lost in Space, it's a spinning ride. And then these must be air bumper cars. Looks like air bumper cars over here. I gotta get one. Those are pretty cool. Spin zone bumper cars. So cool. This way. This is the carousel. Ticket prices right here. Expensive side. A little bit expensive. It's five dollars to ride the bumper cars. So I would suggest if you want to ride rides, go to the Six Flags Great Escape, which is not far up the road. And, uh, yeah, this is Puppy Love. There's the carousel. It's actually a very pretty carousel. The carousel's only three tickets. Three dollars to ride the carousel. How much is it? How much is it? Three dollars. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. The carousel on Saratoga is um, one dollar token, um, and you can ride that one. And that one is in the common or in the park downtown, Congress Park in Saratoga. But yeah, there's some gorgeous carousels around here. There's another. Candy shop, sweet creations. Just outside of the little mini amusement park arcade here. A pizza shop. It's called really Family Arcade. There's Slice Pizza. <laughs> Shout out. Slice Pizza right here. How much is a slice? I don't know. You wanna check it out? We're gonna grab a slice of cheese from Slice Pizza. Check it out. One slice of plain. Just one? Yep. See how it tastes. Alright, we got a slice of cheese. Party hold, wait, wait for mommy, okay? Gonna, there's a little table out here, babe. Stay right here. How does it look? Uh -huh. Looks like a dollar slice. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, good crunch. You want to try it? Yeah. Like, like way zoomed in. Mm. 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 It's not bad. It's a dollar slice, though. Yeah. 4.3. That low? Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Sure. They have a special. You can get a large with one topping and four beers for thirty dollars. This is the eat inside. The same place. But you can eat on the inside. That's 